and now they've came for Superman. It was just a matter of time we all saw the writing on the wall. All they had to do was put the pieces into place. And while this is just a rumor, hear me, this is a rumor. It comes from a credible source, a source that's been more right than wrong in the past. So I'm not saying that this is the case, but I am saying I am not surprised if it is going to be the case because of uh, where it's coming from and the track record that we've seen from DC Comics so far just in the past year. Just in the past year, Superman will be gay in DC Comics. Now, let's take a look at this, okay? There's been uh, recent news of Robin, of Tim Drake. I did a video about Tim Drake here few days ago where they changed him to bisexual but let's just be honest if you're a guy and you're not dating any girls then you're just gay think of that what you will calm down quit get your panties out of a twist it's it, it, it's it's you're gay either way okay but now now they want to do that to superman but let, let's just let's be clear here let's be clear here it is not clark kent it is clark kent and lois lane's son jonathan kent that they plan to make gay. This is also the same Jonathan Kent, if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm willing to be wrong on this. This is the same Jonathan Kent that was abducted by his grandfather or somebody, he was taken into the future by somebody else, some other member of the L family, and then returned back into the past. Uh, so I'm quite sure if that's the case, and then some of that story will be the uh, premise for which to make him gay because in the future everybody is blah 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 and we live in these accepting societies of this and that and this and that so, so i was there uh, the, the, uh, a few nights ago whenever ethan van skyver was talking about this on his uh, youtube channel uh sources are telling him that jonathan kent superman will be announced to be gay and that they are going to use him to replace clark kent uh, at least for a while uh, Van Skyver says, I just found out. I got a little bit of a scoop about what DC's plans are. Nobody knows this yet. It hasn't really been announced except by me. The plan is Superman's book. I guess Clark Kent is going bye-bye. It doesn't surprise me. All that they want to do is supplant the characters that you have known and loved and respected for decades with their own cheap knockoff versions of it. And and tell you no, this is what this is Superman now. This is Superman now, and that's that's never the case. Nobody ever buys into that, and they keep doing this. They keep trying and they keep trying and they keep trying. Nobody buys into this garbage. They can see you through all this. Uh, Van Skyver goes on to say DC Comics has had a lot of problems maintaining the trademark for Superman because he's old. He's an old character. The family would desperately like money because their family, their ancestors who created Superman, got completely messed over uh, by that particular deal. Superman has made billions and billions of dollars in revenue, and those two boys that made up Superman got bupkis. They were Jewish, so they got bupkis. They got nothing. And and let me make a prediction here, since we're talking about Superman. I just watched the uh, new trailer for the Eternals, the latest one, and it shows a lot of scenes with Icarus shooting his eye beams. And there's even one scene where uh, the the Asian, the Chinese looking uh, actress and character, she's like. Uh, in a room and she's looking at some glowing plants or something but some of them are like crystalline and all both of those things reminded me of the superman and lois tv series because it looked like the uh the chinese eternals character uh the actress was reaching for x kryptonite <laughs> and then I I icarus's eye beams just kept reminding me of superman and people are just going to make all kinds of superman knockoff jokes in regards to that is my prediction but moving on uh, Van Skyver continues, uh, Clark Kent, I guess, is going bye-bye, and they are going to replace him with Jonathan Kent, and then they are going to announce that Jonathan Kent is... So Superman is effectively gay, everyone. He is going to be gay. And and uh, Ethan went on to Twitter to talk about the current state of DC Comics, and all of this stuff is true. It's happened. It's happened, or it's about to happen. Happened. We got experienced editorial staff fired, the line slash cover price is raised, Batman is taking up over 50%. Uh, if not more, uh, significantly more, of the current titles being published. No more creators, creator incentives. To us. Most of those creators, several of those creators, I'm not going to say most, have from DC, the big name ones, have, have went to Substack. 
Warren Ellis and Jeff Johns have been canceled. Both amazing creators in their own right, especially Jeff Johns for DC. Wonder Woman, Superman, Aqualad, and Robin are gay or queer. Struggling, their DC is struggling against the young adult and manga uh, lines. And then they released Gotham High and I'm Not Starfire, which are embarrassing books. Bendis has left DC now. His exclusive ran up, and then he decided to sign one for Dark Horse Comics. So the good thing about that, and perhaps I should make a separate video about that, is that uh, at least he won't be able to ruin any of their already established characters because Dark Horse primarily does not have that. Uh, Suicide Squad bombed at the box office, and it bombed as a movie. Okay, it was just a bad movie. Uh, so there we go, guys. You're seeing more of what he's saying here. And then, like I said, in Batman Urban Legends number six is when they decide to make Tim Drake into bisexual. And then we see what's going on here with Jonathan Kent. He's struggling to he's struggling to find himself. All the usual tropes of characters that these creators have used multiple times already to get a foot in the doorway of establishing that character as an ambassador of the message. I read the first issue of Superman, Son of Kal-El. It wasn't a bad issue. Uh, I liked the art on it. Uh, this artist, Tim's, uh, he, he did very good. I haven't seen issue two yet. I don't think that's came out yet. That will be coming out soon. But you can even tell by this cover and this forlorn look, forlorn look that Jonathan has. Who am I? What am I supposed to be? What am I supposed to do? Who am I supposed to help? It's a bunch of garbage. And this is what you have to look forward to, folks. This is what you have to look forward to uh, with comics and so much media in general uh, coming to us. Tell me what you think about this possibility. This is a rumor. Again, this is a rumor. It has not happened yet, but I wouldn't be surprised if we have a definitive answer to this in the next three to four months. And we will know then. So, guys, Batman, I'm sorry, uh, 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 Superman and uh, Robin, Aqualad, all these people, these characters. When does it end? When, when does it stop? When does the appropriation end? Because they don't have, uh, they, they already have a gay Superman. His name is Apollo, and he's a great character in his own right. They already have a gay Batman. His name is Midnighter. He's a fantastic character in his own right. But nobody nobody has the wherewithal to be able to, to make those characters as popular as what's been established. So when, when you can't beat what's been established, you appropriate it and you make it what you want it to be. You're going to see more and more of this in the coming days in the future. I hate it. I don't want to see it, but it's going to happen. That's all I've got for you today, folks.